Greetings, this is Kevin Jefferson, father of the Forex fam and followmytrades.com here with Trade Theory on Bitcoin and Gold for Thursday, October 14th, 2021. So we're going to start with gold here. Um, we're looking out here on the weekly chart, as you remember, uh, or may remember, I was speaking about gold um, actually rising in value against the dollar and it has been wanting to do so for a while. And so as we're looking on the weekly chart, it's finally starting to move long uh, versus the dollar. So down on the daily uh, chart as well, you can see um, that this is actually in an uptrend and it is ready to uh, move long. So um, so we're looking to buy gold and sell the dollar um, currently. Let's go out and look at Bitcoin, uh, which is a little bit more interesting. And so on the daily chart here, what I expect is for price prices currently right here at around 57,616, uh, 50, 57,616. And I expect it to move possibly over the next day or so um, as high as um, 60,000, uh, specifically 60,382 and some change. So um, get up to the 60,000 area, but then uh, if not on Friday, um, maybe the beginning of next week, expect a retracement back down to possibly uh, about the 54 to 11 area. So uh, it could get as high as 60,000 this week, but don't expect it to push too much higher based on what I see. I would expect it to pull back, retrace um, to about the 54, 55,000 um, area and then consolidate and go from there. So that's enough for now. Uh, just letting you know that Bitcoin is still showing bullish and gold is still sh showing bullish versus the dollar. And as I had mentioned in the previous video, um, I think that's a, a decoupling of risk from, from what's going on with the U.S. I think there's still a lot of uncertainty um, and this is more of a fundamental conversation. So this is all just speculation. So that's the, you know, my mantra about fundamental analysis. Anybody can tell a story about the numbers, but the numbers always create the story. And so um, I think that, you know, with, with Bitcoin rising against the dollar and gold rising against the dollar, um, I mentioned that how gold and Bitcoin or, or the crypto are actually are kind of like opposite ends of the seesaw. You know, gold represents more of a safe haven um, opportunity and crypto, obviously, Bitcoin specifically is more of a uh, more of a speculative um, and a, a risk oriented, um, higher risk oriented asset. And so when you look at that at that seesaw, one is on one side and, and one is on the other. Normally where one is increasing in value, the other is decreasing in value relative to the dollar. And right now both of them are moving up or increasing in value. And the only premise that makes sense for that right now is that people are really leaving US dollars, um, the fiat dollar alone until some things get sorted out because still with you know the debt situation has still not been completely resolved. So that's still up in the air, and I think that both of those assets moving up against the dollar shows that people are looking to take um, profits or look, looking to park their money or looking to gain returns that, that are not directly associated with the dollar and the risk that it carries. So um, right now, like I say, if you're, if you're in Bitcoin, you're probably going to have a great day. Um, and if you're in gold, um, buying gold, you're probably going to have a great day as well. So uh, to learn how to build cash flow um, for yourself, for business, um, to the tune of 75 80% year over year, so that you can work less and enjoy your lifestyle more. Check us out at fmtrades.com, which is that's all we do is help members of our Forex fam create inco income and cash flow for themselves so that they can live their best lives without all the work and the stress. So check us out, fmtrades.com, and until next time, happy trading.